Hey guys, this next class is a strength and conditioning class using your dumbbells. I hope you guys enjoy it. For this segment, let's grab some dumbbells. Now, ladies, uh, three kilograms, four kilograms, or five kilograms, depending on your strength, would be ideal for these programs. Um, fellas, let's work, let's start at around about five kilograms. If you're a little bit stronger, seven and a half, nines, 12 and a half. You certainly don't want to go over 15 kilogram weights with this one because you won't be able to finish the, the program. Okay guys, we're going to start to warm up. We're going to warm up just bending forward, working some uppercuts. Now what I'm going to do to get my legs involved as well, you can see I'm going up and down with it. Okay, just like that. Let's just start to warm up together. Let's go for a minute. Let's keep working through those. A little bit of a bounce. I want to start to get my quadriceps involved. You can see I'm keeping my elbows tucked right in. So really trying to warm everything up, get some blood flowing. Get ready for some action. And 15 seconds. Keep throwing those uppercuts out. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Alright guys, just another warm-up exercise. So we're going to go into a very light squat, come up into a light shoulder press. So you can see they're very light, it's not a full range movement, just a warm-up technique. We just want to get the blood flowing. So straight up, straight down. Now as you start to warm up, we can start to increase the range a little bit. So you can see I'm going deeper on those squats now as I'm warming up. Five more, four more, three more, two more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Okay guys, we're gonna work some shoulder presses for this exercise. I'm gonna take a nice front stance and I wanna make sure my lower body is nice and stable and my spine's nice and neutral so I don't need to worry about my back. And from here, I'm just gonna go straight up from here, we're going to push straight up overhead and come back down to a T, just like that. Let's get you guys to try it. Okay, guys, let's get into those shoulder presses. Let's go. So you guys can see a nice, sturdy front stance here. And you can see perfect movement from Christina. She's holding really, really good form. Um, what she's doing is she's coming out to a T and pushing straight up over her head. There's no frontal movement, okay? So you can see it's just nice vertical line and holding perfect form. She's protecting her back as she's doing it. Let's keep working from there. We're doing really well with this one. We've got about 15 seconds left. Let's keep pushing. So nice steady movement. You can see the dumbbells are meeting at the middle, so that's a nice stable point to finish up the top of the, your exercise. Let's keep working. One last repetition. Excellent job. Rest. Okay guys, we're gonna work some squats, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently for this one. It's actually a harder version of a squat. It's, it's a really good compound technique. Watch me. I'm gonna hold up a snatch position. So I'm actually gonna maintain that over my head. I'm gonna drop into my squat and right back up. So you actually feel quite a lot of pressure in your back as you do this one. You're almost gonna forget about your quadriceps as you do it. Right there. More pressure on your back than on your quads and glutes. Let's get you guys to try it. All right, I'm gonna get in on the action with you guys. Let's go. So the trick here is I'm gonna to try to keep my arms as soft straight as possible throughout the whole movement. So I don't wanna actually create any shoulder presses. I wanna try and leave it up there. Dropping right down, picking it right back up, keeping my feet nice and parallel 
and you can see I'm dropping down into a chair right there and lifting straight back up. You want to make sure you get 90 degrees of action. Okay, it's going to get pretty difficult to hold the weight up. I'm starting to really feel it now. And keep working. I'm trying to keep my arms over my head as much as I can. Okay, it's going to be natural for it to start to work its way to the front, but don't let it. Give me two more reps. One more. And a well-earned rest after this one. We're going to work a biceps lift for this exercise, guys. This is very different to a bicep curl. I want to show you guys what we'll do. So I'm going to have the dumbbells facing forward, palm forward, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift into a vertical line. So my elbows actually ride right back and the dumbbell lifts alongside my ribs, just like that. So this one really focuses on the peak of the biceps, just like that. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those bicep lifts. So with this exercise, we're lifting straight up into a vertical line. So you can see that movement is going from Christina's thighs all the way to her ribs. It's not actually pushing out in front of her body at all. What's in fact happening is she's pushing her elbows back as she does it. Perfect. Good range of movement. Perfect technique, just like that. Now you're going to do a bunch of these and then you're going to really start to feel that it's right in the peak of your biceps, right down the middle. Keep working, making sure you're protecting your back by keeping your knees slightly bent and keeping your spine neutral yet tight. Let's go for two more reps. And one last one. Good job, time. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay guys, let's get into those shoulder presses. Let's go. So you guys can see a nice sturdy front stance here. And you can see perfect movement from Christina. She's holding really, really good form. Um, what she's doing is she's coming out to a T and pushing straight up over her head. There's no frontal movement, okay? So you can see it's just nice vertical line and holding perfect form. She's protecting her back as she's doing it. Let's keep working from there. We're doing really well with this one. We've got about 15 seconds left. Let's keep pushing. So nice steady movement. You can see the dumbbells are meeting at the middle. So that's a nice stable point to finish up the top of your exercise. Let's keep working. One last repetition. Excellent job. Rest. All right, I'm gonna get in on the action with you guys. Let's go. So the trick here is I'm gonna try to keep my arms as soft straight as possible throughout the whole movement. So I don't wanna actually create any shoulder presses. I wanna try and leave it up there. Dropping right down, picking it right back up, keeping my feet nice and parallel. And you can see I'm dropping down into a chair right there and lifting straight back up. You wanna make sure you get 90 degrees of action, okay? It's going to get pretty difficult to hold the weight up. I'm starting to really feel it now. And keep working. I'm going to try and keep my arms over my head as much as I can. Okay, It's going to be natural for it to start to work its way to the front, but don't let it. Give me two more reps. One more. And a well-earned rest after this one. Okay, let's get into those bicep lifts. So with this exercise, we're lifting straight up into a vertical line. So you can see that movement is going from Christina's thighs all the way to her ribs. It's not actually pushing out in front of her body at all. What's in fact happening is she's pushing her elbows back as she does it. Perfect. Good range of movement. 
perfect technique, just like that. Now you're going to do a bunch of these and then you're going to really start to feel it right in the peak of your biceps, right down the middle. Let's keep working. Making sure you're protecting your back by keeping your knees slightly bent and keeping your spine neutral yet tight. Let's go for two more reps. And one last one. Good job, time. Bent over T rows for this next exercise. I want you guys to watch me. So I'm gonna bring my dumbbells together like that, like it's one long bar. I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna pull my elbows right out, pushing right up and straight back down. So I'm gonna stop. I wanna try and create a T, elbow to elbow like that. And bending forward, knees are bent, back's protected. I've got a nice neutral spine going and just working from there. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, Sarah. Good, so you guys can see nice bend in the knees. We're leaning forward, but we're protecting our spine, so we're not punching over like that. And as, you're, as she's pulling up, you can see a nice T, so she's dropping, coming up to that perfect T, and allowing the weights to just go back together, make a straight bar, and straight back up again. Perfect movement, just like that. I'm gonna keep working through those. I want you guys to focus on the same thing. Now, as you start to tire, you tend to do a couple of things. You tend to, one, start to drop your elbows. We wanna make sure we're not dropping them. You wanna keep it nice and high. And then you wanna make sure you're not bending your wrists either. Keep working through. We've got two more reps now. Keep that perfect form in place. One more. And time. We're gonna work some W rotations for this one, guys. This one's a really good rehab exercise for your rotator cuffs. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna start in a T. And you can see arms are horizontal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna twist over to a vertical right there and back to a horizontal. Now I wanna try and make sure there's no movement in my elbows. So I'm keeping that perfect T and just really training my rotator cuffs here. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this one with you, let's go. So you can see the focus is on keeping the elbow as stationary as I can keep it. And what I wanna try and do, is I want 90 degrees of rotation, so I wanna make sure I'm getting those full 90 degrees the whole time, just like that. You're gonna to start to really feel it burning up uh, inside your rotator cuff, but that's great because we're strengthening it right up. And this is a really, um, injury prone area that we're working on so we're strengthening it up so hopefully it's going to prevent you from injuring your rotator cuffs uh, during your day-to-day -day activity. Let's keep working through these. Two more reps. And have a rest. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into it, Sarah. Good, so you guys can see nice bend in the knees. We're leaning forward, but we're protecting our spine, so we're not punching over like that. And as, you're, as she's pulling up, you can see a nice T, so she's dropping coming up to that perfect T and allowing the weights to just go back together, make a straight bar and straight back up again. Perfect movement, just like that. I'm gonna keep working through those. I want you guys to focus on the same thing. Now, as you start to tire, you tend to do a couple of things. You tend to, one, start to drop your elbows. We wanna make sure we're not dropping them. You wanna keep it nice and high. And then you wanna make sure you're not bending your wrists either. Keep working through. We've got two more reps now. Keep that perfect form in place. One more. And time.
Okay, guys, I'm gonna do this one with you. Let's go. So you can see the focus is on keeping the elbow as stationary as I can keep it. And what I wanna try and do is I want 90 degrees of rotation. So I wanna make sure I'm getting those full 90 degrees the whole time. Just like that. You're gonna start to really feel it burning up uh, inside your rotator cuff, but that's great because we're strengthening it right up. And this is a really um, injury prone area that we're working on. So we're strengthening it up. So hopefully it's gonna prevent you from injuring your rotator cuffs uh, during your day-to-day -day activity. And let's keep working through these. Two more reps. And have a rest. Okay, we're gonna work a calves race combination for this one. I want you guys to watch. So I'm gonna start off in a V position. We're gonna work some V or ballet calves raises if you like. So from here, I'm just gonna lift right up, get that pause at the top, drop back down with my heels together. Okay, just like that. Now, then what we'll do after 45 seconds, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna go pigeon toes. So your toes are touching each other just like that. I'm gonna lift from here, I really work the outside of the calves from here, okay? This one's really hard on your stabilizers because it's completely unnatural. It's gonna really work the outside of your calves. Let's go. Okay, let's get into those calves raises, guys, go. So you guys can see Sarah's holding a nice V, heels are together, toes are right out. Um, we've got a nice 90 degree range between the toes there. And what you wanna make sure you do is you wanna make sure you're putting a little pause at the top, okay? That point where you're really flexing your calves, let's get that, let's really hit it. And then come back down, rest, and go again. We're gonna keep going, we've got about 20 seconds left on this one, and then we're gonna change it, and we're gonna go toes in, we're gonna do a pigeon toe calves raise then. Let's keep working. Give me three more. Two more, nice steady movement. Let's not change the pace. And change them over now. So toes together, heels out, and go from there. Now this one's a lot harder on your stabilizer, so you might tend to wobble a little bit. Doesn't matter, fight through it. Let's keep working through it. Right up, I want you to try and put a little bit more of a pause at the top. Perfect. So you feel that digging into your calves from underneath, you also feel it outside of your calves as well. Good, we've got five more left on this one. Good, one last one. Excellent, have a rest. Okay, we're gonna work some lunges now, guys. Watch me. I'm gonna get a nice lunge stance, front stance, and I'm gonna make sure my toes are both pointing in the same direction in front of me. Now, I've, I'm wide enough to have a nice sturdy base, and so from here, I'm gonna drop down into my lunge, pick it straight back up, okay? Really squeezing with my glute at the top of that one. Drop down, and pick it back up. We're gonna do 45 seconds with one leg, and then switch it over, do the other side as well. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Let's go. So a couple of uh, important notes when you're lunging. You want to make sure both your toes are pointing in the same direction. And the other thing you want to make sure you do is you want to be about shoulder width. Okay, you're going to have problems balancing if you're going to um, go one line in front of the other. Um, now drop straight down. We're going to go straight down. We're going to make sure the knee doesn't touch the floor. We're going to be about an inch off. And you can see Christina's keeping that front leg nice and vertical as she's dropping those lunges. These are perfect. Let's keep them going. You want to make sure you're not leaning forward either. As you start to tire, you tend to start to lean forward. So we want to try and avoid that. Let's get a couple of more repetitions out on this side. And then what we'll do is we're going to switch over, do the other side as well. Give me one more after this, Christina. And change legs. Let's keep going. Perfect. Good. So the uh, dumbbells are just staying by your side. Your arms aren't doing anything. 
Okay, it's just adding a little bit of resistance to your lunge. That's all it's doing. We want to make sure the lunge stance is long enough as well. You're going to have some trouble. You're going to do it incorrectly if you shorten your stance. We want to make sure it's nice and lengthy. This is perfect. Let's keep them going. Now, as you get to the top, make sure you're straightening that back leg out. Okay, really squeeze with the glutes. Uh, straighten that back leg out and then drop down to the next one. We've got two repetitions left. Good work, have a rest. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into those calves raises, guys, go. So you guys can see Sarah's holding a nice V. Heels are together, toes are right out. Um, we've got a nice 90 degree range between the toes there. And what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you're putting a little pause at the top. Okay, that point where you're really flexing your calves. Let's get that. Let's really hit it. And then come back down, rest, and go again. We're going to keep going. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. And then we're going to change it. And we're going to go toes in. We're going to do a pigeon toe calves raise then. Let's keep working. Give me three more. Two more, nice steady movement. Let's not change the pace. And change them over now. So toes together, heels out, and go from there. Now this one's a lot harder on your stabilizer, so you might tend to wobble a little bit. Doesn't matter, fight through it. Let's keep working through it. Right up, I want you to try and put a little bit more of a pause at the top. Perfect. So you feel that digging into your calves from underneath, you also feel it outside of your calves as well. Good, we've got five more left on this one. Good, one last one. Excellent, have a rest. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Let's go. So a couple of uh, important notes when you're lunging. You want to make sure both your toes are pointing in the same direction. And the other thing you want to make sure you do is you want to be about shoulder width. Okay, you're going to have problems balancing if you're going to um, go one line in front of the other. Um, now drop straight down. We're going to go straight down. We're going to make sure the knee doesn't touch the floor. We're going to be about an inch off. And you can see Christina's keeping that front leg nice and vertical as she's dropping those lunges. These are perfect. Let's keep them going. You want to make sure you're not leaning forward either. As you start to tire, you tend to start to lean forward. So we want to try and avoid that. Let's get a couple more repetitions out on this side. And then what we'll do is we're going to switch over, do the other side as well. Give me one more after this, Christina. And change legs. Let's keep going. Perfect. Good. So the uh, dumbbells are just staying by your side. Your arms aren't doing anything. Okay, it's just adding a little bit of resistance to your lunge. That's all it's doing. We want to make sure the lunge stance is long enough as well. You're going to have some trouble. You're going to do it incorrectly if you shorten your stance. We want to make sure it's nice and lengthy. This is perfect. Let's keep them going. Now, as you get to the top, make sure you're straightening that back leg out. Okay, really squeeze with the glutes. Uh, straighten that back leg out and then drop down to the next one. We've got two repetitions left. Good work, have a rest. We're gonna work some deadlifts for this exercise. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna clasp my dumbbells together in front of me like that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop down into a squat. I'm gonna go all the way down until my dumbbell touches the ground. And from here, as I come up, I'm gonna tighten up with my back, just like that, okay? So dropping down, leaning forward ever so slightly, and tightening my back up. So this is the deadlift, it's different to a squat. One more repetition, right there, your turn. Okay, let's get into those deadlifts, guys. So you can see we're keeping our feet nice and parallel 
shoulder width and the dumbbells are coming just in between your legs so we're gonna go right in front of your toes in between it's touching the floor now the reason I want you to touch the floor is we're gonna get more work out of your back so this is gonna be very distinctly different to a squat as we come back up I want you to tighten your back right up. So we want to emphasize on tightening that back right there. There you go. So we're really working those posterior obliques and really tightening up the lower back, looking after that lumbar region. Let's keep going. Now the trick here is make sure your knees stay over your toes so we don't want to start to pull them out at all. We've got three repetitions left on this one, Christina. Go. That's one. Two. One last one. And have a rest. Okay guys, we're gonna work a stiff kickback for this one. So I want you to watch me. I'm gonna just keep the dumbbells in front of me and I'm gonna kick right back with a stiff leg. I'm gonna finish there and come back. Okay, one more rep. Just like that. We're going to do 45 seconds on one side and then we're going to switch it up to 45 on the other as well. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those guys. Let's go. Okay, so you can see Christina's maintaining the weights in front of her. And what we want to try to do with this exercise is we want to hit a perfect T if we can. Let's hit that perfect T. Now, the trick with this one is you want to make sure your heel stays underneath your toe. We don't want to twist out. You want to make sure you're keeping a straight line as you do it. We want to try and get right into the middle of those glutes. Let's keep working. And you guys can see nice steady movement. And Christina's putting a little pause at the top, which makes it even harder, which is perfect. You want to try and do that. Let's go for three more reps. That's one. And two, let's go for one more. Excellent, change them up. We're gonna go the other leg, let's go, no break. That's one. Two, let's keep them going. So we're gonna be conscious of keeping the toes underneath the heel. No twisting, so you wanna try and keep your hips as square as you can for this one. Let's keep working. Now, as you start to tie, you're gonna to start to bend the knees. You wanna make sure we're not doing that. So the kicking leg, the kicking knee has to stay nice and straight the whole time. We've got three left on this side, Christina. Two more. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay guys, we're gonna work some overhead side bends with this one. So this one's a really good obliques exercise. Um, now because the weight's gonna be over my head, I wanna make sure I'm holding it nice and tight. So hold with one hand, support with the other, right here, over the top. And what I'm gonna do with my legs, um, around about shoulder width, maybe even slightly wider than that, I'm gonna go into an oblique tilt like that. And right back up, and tilt to the other side. One last one. Your turn. Okay, guys, let's get into it. All right. So important thing with this exercise, guys, you notice I'm maintaining the weight over my head, so I'm not swinging with my arms like that. You've got to make sure we're maintaining. Obliques are doing all the work, so I'm going to just tilt to the side, Squeeze those obliques and pull them right back up, just like that. So you can hear me exhaling as I'm working my way back up. Right there. Let's go for three more. Last one. And we're done.
Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's get into those deadlifts, guys. So you can see we're keeping our feet nice and parallel, shoulder width, and the dumbbells are coming just in between your legs. So we're gonna go right in front of your toes, in between. It's touching the floor. Now, the reason I want you to touch the floor is we're gonna get more work out of your back. So this is gonna be very distinctly different to a squat. As we come back up, I want you to tighten your back right up. So we're gonna emphasize on tightening that back right there. There you go. So we're really working those posterior obliques and really tightening up the lower back, looking after that lumbar region. Let's keep going. Now the trick here is make sure your knees stay over your toes so we don't want to start to pull them out at all. We've got three repetitions left on this one, Christina. Go. That's one. Two. One last one. And have a rest. Okay, let's get into those guys, let's go. Okay, so you can see Christina's maintaining the weights in front of her. And what we want to try to do with this exercise is we want to hit a perfect T if we can. Let's hit that perfect T. Now, the trick with this one is you want to make sure your heel stays underneath your toe. We don't want to twist out. You want to make sure you're keeping a straight line as you do it. We want to try and get right into the middle of those glutes. Keep working. And you guys can see nice steady movement and Christina's putting a little pause at the top which makes it even harder, which is perfect. You want to try and do that. Let's go for three more reps. That's one. And two. Let's go for one more. Excellent. Change them up. We're going to go the other leg. Let's go. No breaks. One, two, let's keep them going. So we're going to be conscious of keeping the toes underneath the heel. No twisting. So you want to try and keep your hips as square as you can for this one. Let's keep working. Now, as you start to tie, you're going to start to bend the knees. You want to make sure we're not doing that. So the kicking leg, the kicking knee has to stay nice and straight the whole time. We've got three left on this side, Christina. Two more. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay, guys, let's get into it. All right. So important thing with this exercise, guys, you notice I'm maintaining the weight over my head, so I'm not swinging with my arms like that. You've got to make sure we're maintaining. Obliques are doing all the work, so I'm going to just tilt to the side, squeeze those obliques and pull them right back up, just like that. me exhaling as I'm working my way back up. Right there. Let's go for three more. Last one. And we're done. Okay, side leg raise for this exercise, guys. Now, watch what I've done. I've got a straight line going from my shoulder all the way to my ankle, and my bottom leg, as you can see, is perpendicular to my body. So I'm actually using a nice steady base so that I can really use my abductors and really use my obliques for this exercise. Um, my dumbbell is just resting with my arm nice and straight just on my top leg. I'm gonna lift from here. I'm gonna lift um, straight up. It's a vertical line right there. And straight back down. Just like that. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. 
So a couple of things to watch out for during this exercise. You want to make sure we're maintaining that straight line all the way through your set. Now the other thing I want you to be conscious of, have a look at Sarah's foot, just keeping it um, horizontal. Now you don't want your toes to start to flip up because if they do, your hips riding back, it's, in, it's out of place, so you're going to need to push it back in place. Sarah's doing it perfectly. Let's keep working from there. And making sure your arm straightens right back out as you uh, pull right back down to the bottom. Let's keep working. Let's go for three more reps. And time. And go. So we've turned around, we're facing the other way now. And same exercise, opposite leg. Let's keep working through. Nice steady motion. You want to make sure you're maintaining the same pace throughout the whole exercise. Don't slow down or speed up. Let's try and maintain. Now you can get some assistance by really squeezing your obliques. The obliques can actually help your abductors out in this exercise. Now, I want you to watch Sarah's foot. What we're going to do from here is we're going to just change it over. I want to make sure this is nice and perpendicular. Push out with your heel and let's keep working. Much, much better. Two reps. One last one. And time. Okay guys, we're going to do a side plank for this exercise, but we're going to add a bit of a twist to it. Watch. So I lift myself up. Now to make life a little bit harder, I'm going to grab my dumbbell and rest it on my hip. I'm just going to hold it there. So we're going to hold for 45 seconds. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm going to do this one with you guys. So you can see a nice straight plank over here. So what I'm doing I'm keeping a straight line um, all the way up my body, so pretty much from my ankles all the way to my head is a straight line. I'm going to try and maintain that, and you can see my arm is dropped directly underneath me, so I'm not putting too much pressure on my shoulder and just holding my weight here. Now, if it gets a little bit difficult for you, you can always just drop the weight, okay? Let's keep going. We've got around 20 seconds left on this one, so let's hold that plank right up. seconds to go. Now we're going to rest, we're going to change over and do the other side as well. So drop it down and let's change over. I've changed over to the other side now. So just hitting the same plank but using um, my other obliques. So you're going to really feel this one burning up in your obliques underneath you. Okay, let's keep holding it still. Hold that position. 15 seconds in, we've got about 30 seconds to go. Now you're gonna start to shake up a little bit, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. And just make sure you don't start to drop your hip. If I'm doing this, that's not really doing much. I wanna make sure I'm holding it right up the whole time. Okay, keep holding it nice and straight, fight through it. We haven't got long to go. Five seconds. And you can stretch just by dropping your hip. Just like that. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Well done, guys. You got through today's workout. Now, if you can turn your attention to your in-house instructor, he'll give you three minutes of stretching.
Okay, you're finished for this class, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could assist us by wiping down your equipment ready for next class, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you. You guys are welcome to join us at Ultimate Pilates or check us out online via YouTube. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.